Do y'all see this right now? Do you guys see the shade that my skin is? This happened in two hours. I got this color in two hours and then my neck, white. And my neck is all discolored and red and it's not cute, but I just, I needed to show myself just for a little bit. Um, I'm getting some Chipotle right now. I have to run to Rite Aid because I need to get some feminine products. It's like the worst when you're burnt and you're going through your, you know what? Oh, I just want to lay in bed. I just want to lay in bed and bathe in aloe vera and wait for this to go away. But I do have to go to a tanning bed eventually to even that out because that's not cute. So yeah, that's what I'm about to go do. I was literally home all day yesterday editing. My face is darker than the rest of my body. I'm red on my legs. But um, yeah, I was home all day yesterday and I'm going to be home all day today besides the fact that I'm going to get something to eat. Coco is extra horny right now, TMI, but he's like after princess and it's so annoying when he gets in these little moods. Like he just follows her and cries all day and humps the air and it's like, bro, that's your sister. But anyway, I'm going to do a couple little bit of um, unboxings when I get back. Just a couple. Just a couple. And uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'm a little bit better so i can actually like not wear a hat and hide from the world so yeah i'll see you guys in a few veggie bullets got the guac got the corn tomatoes beans and rice it's like a little mountain i'm about to dig in i miss chipotle so much i literally just watch him sleep like i'm such a creeper but doesn't he look so peaceful he sleeps all day and all night. Coco is living the life right now. I'm always snapping him and Instagramming him, but I'm just so obsessed with him. He knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> I make up with the blanket on him, but he always gets out of the blanket. Like, I'll cover him and then he'll get out of it. He's like his mommy. He doesn't like to be bundled while he sleeps. His feet always gotta be out. <laughs> There's mommy's baby. Okay, I'll let you sleep. So this first box is from Bobby Brown. It says Rosita on it. I got some aloe on it. And then the inside it says hashtag Sephora, which is really cool. I've never actually received anything from Sephora or Bobby Brown. So it says Bobby to Glow. This holiday season, celebrate and indulge. This is their Born to Glow Shimmer Brick Palette. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's try to see if we can open it with one hand. No. Isn't this packaging gorgeous? So collegiate so royal and it has like this little magnet closing Ooh, let's do the reveal bam straight gold bar of glow so the first one is this beautiful gold glow i feel like i'm playing bingo right now i feel like i'm revealing magic boom the bronze and the third one, the rose gold. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. So we have gold, bronze, and wild rose. All three in one. Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So pretty. So you can mix them or you can just um, use like the top half, the bottom half. You could dip your brush in in one for like eyeshadow. I don't even want to mess it up right now. So there's the gold, the bronze, and the rose. And obviously they would look better on the face, but I feel like the middle one would actually go with my skin complexion right now, the bronze. If you're tired of always using a gold highlight, like you literally have three in one. This is a perfect travel i know i always say that but like this is literally perfect for traveling for makeup artists for makeup junkies for makeup collectors so again thank you so much robbie brown for sending this beautiful palette over i cannot wait to bust it out so next up i wanted to show you guys these really cool products so every time i walk into sephora i just go to the hair section and i'm always drawn to these products because of the packaging so this is from a brand called igk so they actually reached out to me it says nyc miami and la they were so kind and have to send me these goodies and they're actually sending me some some other goodies so thank you so much IGK for watching this so I sent over their 30,000 feet volume shampoo this one says NYC on it and then the conditioner to go along with it and I always read the reviews on these products you guys know I'm an avid review reader so I was reading the reviews on this and they said it smells really good oh my gosh this smells amazing it smells like perfume 
but not like a cheap perfume or like a product that's gonna like dry your hair out kind of perfume you know like it just smells good this feather light volumizing shampoo is your ticket to sky high volume and insane volume it's genius formula detangles hydrates and softens while leaving lengths bouncier fuller and sub Blur, blur. So I like that it says it's going to hydrate the hair too because I found that a lot of volumizing shampoos really dry out my hair so I'm so excited to use these. I mean just the scent alone I'm like excited to wash my hair. I think I'm going to bring these with me tomorrow to the salon um, and get my hair done or maybe I'll get my hair done Friday. I gotta see what my schedule's looking like. This one is called Rich Kid. I love the names and the packaging. Like isn't this so cool? So this is the coconut oil gel. This coconut oil infused gel is the foundation in creating the hydrated lived in undone hair of right now. Now, Rich Kids moisturizing properties give you the hair you've always wanted. Apply to clean, towel-dried hair and let air dry for optimal separation and hydration a la your favorite supermodel. So I actually wanted to use this today, but my hair is not wet. <laughs> I haven't washed it, so next time I wash it, I'm going to apply some of this in there to kind of give it that PC look. So this one's called Rich Kid. And then this last one is like super interesting to me. This is the Smoke and Mirrors Conditioning Cleansing Oil. I love the name, like Smoke and Mirrors. That's so dope. And this one says, sweep away impurities while nourishing your skin with this dream cocktail of coconut oil and powerful hydrators perfect for anyone looking for their healthiest lengths ever especially those with color ha treated hair dry scalps or unruly curls so you apply this to wet hair you work throughout and then you rinse it so it's a conditioning cleansing oil I've never tried that so I'm guessing it's like a it says oil but I don't know I feel like it would come out like a mousse I don't know but I've never tried one of these cleansing oils and I'm really excited because I feel like my scalp needs cleansing although the dryness has kind of subdued um, with the, what was I using? Oh, the Biolage, I think. It kind of went away, but I still feel like I need some cleansing in the scalp. I'm so excited for these products. Like, I just, I don't even want to put them away. They're just so pretty. I just, I want to leave them right there. <laughs> so again, thank you IGK for sending these over. I'll definitely update you guys once I start using these products. Next up, I have a package from A Cosmetics. First up is a Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Love this. I got the CC Plus Your Skin But Better. I've actually been dying to try this. I have it in the shade light right now because that was the shade that I was in when, you know, they sent it over. But right now I'm like more of like a tan slash deep slash red color. But nonetheless, once my tan fades, I'll be using this. Can't wait to try that. I've heard great things. This is what I'm really, really excited for. This is the Bye Bye Pores Primer, oil-free poreless skin perfecting serum primer. I'm all about the primers. I have a drawer full of them. I love pore perfecting primers, so I'm excited about it. I actually placed an order on Sephora today, and I ordered um this new coconut. Wow, I really forgot. Hold on, let me get my phone. Sephora is in my Siri suggestions. So I actually purchased this one today. First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer. I bought this uh, Naked Lip Whip because you guys were telling me about it. Carrie Grand. Like, when you guys recommend products to me, I actually buy them. Like... For real, for real. I got a sample. I got these Anastasia scissors because they took them away at the Jamaica... At the um, airport in Jamaica, they confiscated them from me. I was like, girl, those are like $20. Can I please just keep them? She was like, unless you want to go back and get your luggage, I'm going to take them away. I was like, nah, you could have them. You could have them. And then I also got this compact mirror. I'm like showing you guys a little haul on my phone. It's a little compact mirror. There's another one that's really cute that I wanted that's gold. It's out of stock right now. But a lot of the reviews say were saying that it had like too many jewels and they were like falling out. But I'm probably still going to get it once it gets back in stock. Because it's only 12 bucks. What else did I get? And I got this uh, Dior brow pencil because I've been dying to try this. It's kind of pricey. Um, it doesn't even have a top, a cap, which is really f weird. But every time I go into Sephora to find the universal dark brown, it's out of stock. So it must be good. And then just some samples. So that's what I ordered today because it was that $25 off. It ended today. So yeah, I had to use it. Since I have so much aloe vera on my face, my phone is filthy. That's gross. I have to go and disinfect it right now. So yeah, um off on a tangent but I, I love primers and last but not least they sent this it cosmetics confidence in a cream transforming moisturizing super cream and that sounds like something I need super cream especially right now this is so cute it says you are beautiful you are it cute 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 Ooh, the struggle so this is what the bottle looks like it looks like a prop it looks like a fake cream like in a movie or something like super old school it does have a really nice weight to it it kind of has like a lemony scent and it feels really thick 
It kind of reminds me of the Bare Minerals butter, what is it called? It's getting crowded in this jar. Kind of reminds me of the butter drench from Bare Minerals. I'm actually all out of that. I need to buy a new one because that's like my go-to moisturizer in the winter time. And I'm all out. I have like this much left. So I need to restock on that. But a little sneak peek. This is my skincare drawer. I literally just went through my hair care products and I removed a lot. And these products were like a little bit further back and I felt so proud of myself. And now they're back to the edge. So I need to re-go through this and figure out what I'm not using and get rid of it. So... Hair care, skin care, random stuff, you know, Vaseline, you know, random stuff, but this is skin care stuff. I've been using um, MAC Comfort Cream as my moisturizer. This one, I kind of just like this in the summer. I'm not really feeling this right now. Uh, mainly just oils, and I have been enjoying this Caudalie SOS Serum. I literally have to stack things because I have no room. And my perfume situation over here is getting crazy too. I have to get rid of a perfume or two so I can fit these in. Because I know some of these perfumes I don't use anymore. So I'm excited for these products. Thank you so much to It Cosmetics for sending these over. So my mom fell in love with this. So I'm going to let her keep this package. Because it's a little paint bucket. And then you get the lid opener. Isn't that so adorable? Like, I mean, that's just... So cute and so creative. So this is from Makeup Forever and this is their Artist Acrylip. So instead of like acrylics, it's acrylips. And as a painter, I can totally, well, as a used to be painter, I can totally appreciate this. So these are new from Makeup Forever. Let me go ahead and whip these bad boys out. So that is intense. That's insane. It was like one little squirt and like so much product came out. Like, not in a bad way, though. Ooh, this color is really pretty. 401. Really nice. I'm actually going to be giving away probably all of these shades. And I'll be keeping the darker ones. It's a lip paint. It's not like a liquid lipstick. It's definitely not matte, as you can see. But a nice, juicy, dark, vampy lip. Like, I know everyone does the dry, matte ones. But, girl, this is killing it. Like, for Christmas. Yes. Thank you, Makeup Forever. You are so bomb. And they also sent over their Aqua Lip pencils. Ooh, they have a protector and a bunch of lip pencils. So it says, pair the artist acrylic with a shade from the beloved Aqua Lip range for the ultimate long wearing lip. So here are some of the lip pencils. I'd probably pair it with, I don't know. I mean, if you want to make it a little bit more orange, you can do that. If you want to make it a little bit more pink, you can do that. But that pigmentation on the acrylic is just... It got me shook. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Why not? These are fantastical. I'm in love. I'm in love. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Like, look at that. That's like straight up paint. Acrylic paint up in this. Are you guys witnessing this right now? I mean, that is... It can't get any more pigmented than that. Like, it literally can't. Maybe that lighting is a little better, but it's still looking a little orange. But just take my word for it. It's a beautiful color. It's 400, 501, 401, and 600. Beautiful! Can't wait to wear those two on the end. Gorgeous. And that purple one is really cool and unique. If you're looking for some super pigmented colors, then check out Makeup Forever. Thank you, Makeup Forever, for sending this over. My mom is obsessed with this. So thank you for feeding into her hoarding. She's going to keep this. We don't have room for this, but she's going to keep this package. I wanted to share with you guys these awesome chokers that I got from my boo, Lolita. So her at is Lolita Yang. That's her personal page. And then she has her shop by Lolita Instagram. So she sent over these three amazing chokers. This first one is so freaking bomb like the detailing in the middle with the chain like it's just so unique and I don't know it's just such great quality this one's super cute like boho because it's brown it has the gold and it's the one that you like wrap around your neck and then you do like a little bow tie in the front like a little um bow in the front I mean and then this one is my favorite I mean I've seen like imitation ones or like cheapy ones and in person this one's absolutely gorgeous I'm obsessed with the quality and it just shines so much like I'm totally gonna wear this for New Year's totally gonna rock this for like a New Year's makeup tutorial also because it's just so me it's blinged out and it's nice and thick it's not too thin it's not too too thick perfect so go show melina some love again her instagram is shot by lolita underscore or you can find her at lolita yang and you can tag her at hashtag by lolita babe so go tell her i sent you and go show her some love because these are bomb 
so bomb. In love. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Where are you going right now? My sweet 16. Super sweet 16. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. Huge. We just beat her face. I'm down the stairs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Someone needs to come help you. Yeah, everybody everybody left. Everybody, everybody left. bounce. Are you going to help her? <laughs> She's going to help her? <laughs> Camera shy. Hey, guys. So I just got home um, like 20 minutes ago. I'm waiting for Brenda to come over. So Charlene went home. Charlene and I were doing a Sweet 16. So I did three girls. She did three girls. And then before that, I did two girls. So, you know. I'm a little tired and I'm so hungry and I really want Jardine. Jardine is like this Dominican, well, is it, it's like a Latin spot in Corona and I really am craving that. So I think Brenda's bringing some wine. So I was thinking we could go get some food, maybe take it here, like take it to go. And the thing about Brenda right now is that she doesn't have a phone. She brought her iPad, she lost her phone, so she can't even call me or text me. So I hope she's taking the right train right now. I can't even get in contact with her, so... That's pretty much that, and um, yeah, I'm really tired and hungry, and Charlene is going out um, with her friends to eat, so she went home to get ready and stuff. But that's pretty much it. I'm wearing the same shirt as in my last vlog because it's so comfy. I love that it's three quarters. It's from Victoria's Secret from the pink store. It says New York on it, so I don't know if it's available everywhere. Yeah, it should be available everywhere, but I got this at um, the Pink in 34th Street, which is my favorite. Like, that store has everything. It's huge. Um, What was I going to tell you guys? So, I'm trying to figure out about me getting to LA for IMATS in January. So, I'm having kind of a little bit of a trouble with that, but I'll figure it out. So, my face is still darker than my body. My chest is still a little red. It hurts just a little bit. I've been putting a lot of aloe vera on, but I'm actually going to go tanning either tonight or tomorrow to even out my body with my face because my, my face is darker than my body, which usually never happens. And what's weird is I was literally covering my face when I was tanning because I hate tanning my face because one, premature wrinkles, two, it dries out my face and I already have dry skin, and three, I'd rather use a darker foundation than a lighter foundation on dark skin because then my skin gets like, it looks ashy when you do like lighter on dark. So I'm gonna go get a tan to even out my neck and the rest of my body. I already have that base tan so I feel like I'm gonna get a really good tan if I go to the bed or get a spray tan. Tomorrow I'm actually going out with Charlene and her friends for um, one of her friends, who's also my friend, but mainly Charlene's friend. Her name is Bjarlin, and it's her birthday. She's turning 21. I feel so old when I hang out with them because I'm 24, and, well, Charlene is a little bit older, but I always feel so much older than Charlene and her friends. But, yeah, we're going, actually, to a spot near, like, it's in Queens, so, yeah. Um, I think I have, like, six clients tomorrow. I, every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a little video clip of their makeup and then they, like I end up not having time and they run out and then, you know. So I think I have like five. No, I, I must have like four or five clients tomorrow. And then Angie wanted to go ice skating, but I don't think I'm going to have time. So hopefully we can reschedule that because after I do everyone's makeup, I have to go tanning. I think I'm going to go get my hair done. I did my hair myself yesterday. I just straightened it. But yeah, I think I'm going to go get it blown out and add my extensions and get a tan. And I kind of want to go get my nails tomorrow, but I think that's pushing it because I don't think I'm going to have enough time, enough time for that. And then Sunday I'm off, so I'm so happy about that. I like never, ever have Sundays off, ever. So it feels so good to be able to go out and have the next day off. It feels great. So yeah, I basically have just been um, home all week because of this burning burning because of this burn situation but I'm good now it doesn't hurt anymore I don't think I need to put any more aloe on I've been using like um the glam glow the blue one obsessed like it literally has been stopping me from flaking but right now I do see a little bit of dryness right here so I need to do one a mask ASAP I feel like every time I get tan my face looks really like uneven and it looks blotchy like it looks patchy might be because it's peeling, but yeah, I'm waiting for Brenda. So hopefully when she comes here, I'll vlog her because she cut her hair off. So she looks different than the last time you saw her. So yeah, I'm just waiting for her. I'm going to start putting away my makeup and that's about it. See you guys in a few. What degrees? It's, uh, I think it's 29, but it feels like it's 20. Yeah, it does. For some reason. We're in a cab. Hopefully you're warm. Hopefully you're staying warm. Indoors. Hopefully, well, in Chicago, it was two degrees. Oh, yeah, I can't complain. <laughs> yeah? You know, yeah, I, I think about those places where it's, like, snow and really cold. I don't know how they do it. They just do it. They have good gear. 
yeah. good gear and cars. They just don't go out. <laughs> or they just yeah. don't go out. <laughs> we just get food delivered. But we actually ventured out today and went to Junction to eat at Jardín de China. Mm -hmm. It's bomb. Um, did you like it? Yes, I did. It's very good. And we're on the way. We're on the way back home. Oh. Don't forget to use my code ROSE8 on Uber for a free ride. Okay. We're not in an Uber right now. We're in a regular cab, but... You guys always ask me my what's my Uber code. Well, not always, but like I get like random comments. Like, what's your Uber again? It's mm. Rose C8. You get a free ride. I get a free ride. We hey, both hey. win. <laughs> All right. See you guys at home. So Galit sends over the new matte lip paint in Rustic and her new glow in Goldie. I love how Galit packs everything. So extra. And look at this beautiful clutch. Ooh, for going out. <clears throat> so we have a luminous face veil. Apply the face veil to highlighting areas for a luminous glow or apply it over a matte blush, like a blush topper, for an added glow that won't change your blush color. Don't tell me it broke. No, why? Because it's... No! Oh! Wow, and that was inside. No! This is not soccer. <laughs> this it's is another one. gorgeous. Delete. I wonder if this is out already. All right, let's see. Let's see, Goldie. Please come through for me. This is the face glow in Goldie. Oh, yeah. These are so soft. Pretty. Perfect for, like, darker skin tones. You guys see that? You see it? Yep. Pretty. Mm -hmm. It's that, like, subtle glow, but it's super gold and bronze. Goldie. And then, last but not least, we have the new matte lip paint in Rustic, I think it's called. Yep, Rustic. I low-key thought it was going to be a lighter color, like a lighter nude. But I'm going to need to, you know, collab with Galactic one day in the future and make that happen. Because Bashful is my color, but if it was just a little bit lighter, it'd be bomb. So, no shade, no hints there at all, but uh, maybe one day we can make that happen. So let's see. Ooh, it kind of looks like this one from Kylie Cosmetics. It's like that orangey hmm. brick. Rustic color. Pretty mm -hmm. perfect name. Rustic. Rustico. Nice. Thank you, Galitz. But I'm so sad about this. I mean, I know you can mend it with alcohol and all that, but... That's pretty broken. No, no, like you, you, you mash it up more and you put alcohol um. and you fix it. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Galitz. I'm just going to layer that all over me. Looks lost. Are you waiting to go to sleep? You're sleepy, aren't you? Are you waiting for someone? For something? Look at that little hair out of his ear. Yeah. It's sticking <laughs> out. Come here. That eye closes more than... <laughs> you want to go sleep, Come. Grandma? Come sleep. Want to go sleepy times? Who do you want? You want to go sleepy times with Grandma? Lancome Visionaire. Eye on correction. Visionaire you. Uh, Visionaire you. Yeah. Eye on correction. Advanced multi correcting eye balm. Rosita. Let's take a looky. Eyes are the windows to the soul. Instead of covering them up with concealer, blur the line between makeup and skincare. Like the enclosed evil eye pendant, our new Visionaire you will protect but also perfect. Formulated to treat wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness, it acts to perfect the eye area by blurring face lines as well. With instant payoff and long-term results, it's also your new favorite eye base. Ooh, I like that. It's a primer kind of deal for the eyes. So here's the product. Lancome Visionaire U Eye Correction Eye Balm. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's a pump. Why did I think it was like a like a like a balm like a like a lip balm kind of thing for your eyes? Comes out like that, like a cream. It has a faint smell. I, it smells like skincare, but it did kind of blur that section, huh? Am I supposed to answer? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of did. No, it did right there. Mm. All right, mm. well, I'll give that a try. Work wonders. And we got a piece from Jennifer Zuner. Zuner. Junet. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's so delicate and pretty. I needed this. It's an evil eye. To ward off evil eyes. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna wear it. Mm -hmm. So delicate and dainty. dainty. Thank you so much, Lancome. I love it. And I can't wait to try this out. 
looks boom. I'm all about that blur. And thank you for the jewelry box. You know my mom's gonna keep it and store her jewelry in it. <laughs> thank you, Lancome. So I don't know what happened to Brenda, but she never made it. I've been waiting for like a couple of hours. We went to go eat, my mom and I, because we got so hungry and it's been like four hours and I'm really like stressed out, but I feel like Brenda went home, probably took a little nap and then just fell out. So I'm hoping it's that I keep calling her, but I, like I keep calling her iPad because she only has her iPad and I keep FaceTiming it, but she doesn't pick up. So I'm worried and... But I'm worried, but at the same time, I know my friend Brenda, and I know she's most likely at home or is at a bar somewhere, so I'll just keep calling her all night. It's like, what, 10 o'clock, I think, right now? And I'm just going to call it a night. I'm going to open up these packages behind me, and I have a bunch of appointments tomorrow, and I have a couple of things to do as well tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. I feel like I have a forever knot in my hair. Does that only happen to me where you get, like, this knot behind your head from wearing a scarf or a coat? Like, I'm going to have to start putting my hair in a ponytail every time I put on my coat. Because the fur always makes this huge knot in the back of my head. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I was supposed to go on live. Maybe I'll go on live. Instagram live. How have you guys been liking that? I've been loving it. Um, I feel like things get really intense really fast. And a lot of people ask the same questions. I feel like I can connect with you guys. I feel like I'm on FaceTime with you guys. I've been doing live like like no makeup late at night and just chilling with you guys just chatting yesterday we had a whole horoscope talk and um yeah i think i'm gonna probably do my makeup on it tomorrow saturday because i'm going out so i'll probably do my makeup on there although when i do my makeup like on camera it doesn't come out the same i feel like it comes out way better when i'm like focused in the mirror no camera but i do want to take advantage of the live to do makeup on it because on Snapchat, you have to constantly just like record, stop, record, stop. So it takes a lot longer. Oh, by the way, we were in an Uber on our way to eat. And when we got out of the car, the guy was like yelling and cursing. We're like, what's going on? We were so confused. And apparently like our Uber touched this guy's bumper. And there was like a little scratch, like barely. He was like cursing at our Uber driver. And our Uber driver was a little bit older. He was a really nice guy too. And um, he got like so scared. He got out and he was so confused. Like he was so quiet. And the guy was just yelling. And he was going to call the cops. And you know, he has to pay for that. It literally, you couldn't even see it. My mom took a picture of it. Like we were trying to defend the Uber driver because it was so petty. I feel like people have just been so petty today. I don't know what it is, but it's just been weird. And like right now we were trying to hail a cab. And and he stopped and he was going to do the U-turn to pick us up. And we were like, yeah, you know, like, do the U-turn. And then he just left. Well, I'm like, what is going on today? Like, I need to stay my butt home. Because people are acting cray-cray here in New York. And Mercury Retrograde starts on the 19th, so I'm going to stay my booty home. <laughs> Even for New Year's, I think I'm going to stay home. Because things just get crazy here in New York. Things escalate. Well, probably in major cities too. But if you go to the club on New Year's, like... There's just so much danger because people act crazy on New Year's. I don't know. Too much drinking involved. It's like people who never go out, go out. So, I don't know. But yeah, nothing really exciting has been happening. I've been drenching myself in aloe. I got super tan. I've been freelancing. Just getting my life back in order ever since I've been back from LA and Jamaica. Now I know why people find traveling so hectic. Like, unpacking and packing, unpacking and packing. Like, I don't know how people do it. It's definitely a blessing, but unpacking is like the worst thing ever. Like, I just want to leave everything in it. In the suitcase. Coco, you love your jammies. So Coco and I just want to say goodnight. This is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye guys.